You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD. talk to you about the uh, 2011 Lexus RX350. When you're looking for an SUV or a crossover SUV, or even better, a luxury crossover SUV like the Lexus is, what do you want out of a vehicle? Most people who are looking for a vehicle similar to this are looking for, you know, some good cargo room, they want style, they want finish, they want a well-engineered vehicle with excellent ride quality, with plenty of performance, and plenty of, uh, plenty of style. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this vehicle now and we're going to go over some of the features that this vehicle has that makes this thing a world class leader in this industry. Some of the standard features that Lexus RX350 comes with is the standard 18 inch rims, uh, wheels and uh, tire package. They also have two other versions of this vehicle. They have the basically the standard version, they have the sport version, and they have a premium version. The sports and the premium versions come with the 18, they start, they come with the 19 inch wheels and a performance handling package. Also, uh, standard features on this vehicle are anti-lock brakes, uh, traction control, uh, interior features, we're gonna go over that in a few minutes. I'm gonna show you all the uh, safety features that they have, you know, frontal and side curtain airbags and uh, a lot of really nice features in this thing. Motor on this thing is a standard motor. It's a 3.5 liter, 275 horse, 257 foot pounds of torque, which is immense for this vehicle. Gives it great performance, zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds. It's got a one transmission that's available. It's a six speed automatic transmission that when you drive this thing, you don't even feel the shifts. It just floats along as you're going along. So we'll go over a few other things inside, uh, show you the, the whole package inside and the quality of the, that is engineered into these vehicles. Um, basically, this vehicle is a 2011, 2010, they had re-engineered this vehicle. Nothing has changed between the 2010 and 2011. Yes. Lexus has redesigned the 2010 model and essentially this is a 2011, nothing's changed in the new vehicles. They really put a lot of efforts in designing a really nice aerodynamic package, make the car extremely efficient. They redesigned the grille, the frontal area as it attacks the, the, the wind and also obviously it creates less drag, makes the car a lot more efficient on the highway. Their light designs have changed. Uh, standard features are fog lights in here. Um, the engineers have really done their homework and uh, it shows by its performance of the vehicle and what it does, you know, economically wise. I mean, this vehicle is 18 miles uh, in the city, 25 on the highway. That's just unbelievable for a vehicle of this stature. I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, some really neat features in the engine compartment here with uh, that was designed into the uh, 2011, 2010, 2011 RX 350 that Lexus did. They use their standard power plant that they've been using on these things. It's, 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 it's redesigned a little bit, but I'm telling you, it's 275 horse V6 coupled to a six, six speed transmission that it just shifts effortlessly. Now, uh, the RX 350 comes in two versions also on top of what kind. You could go with the front wheel drive, which this vehicle is, or you could also get a four wheel drive or an all wheel drive version also. That's really good for areas where you're up in snow and ice and stuff like that. Obviously here in South Florida on a beautiful sunny day here, we ain't got no snow, we got nothing. All we got is some nice weather and we all we need is a front wheel drive in this area. They came up with some really neat features on top of all the nice space that they put into all into all the stuff here. I mean, just pulling a, no more do you have to go around and open up the doors and pull this thing here. It's a simple pull on the knob here, on this handle, and that whole front section just drops down. Pull over here on this one here, it takes care of that section. All of a sudden, you got a great cargo area. You can put, you know, lumber, uh, you can put 
bags, you could put uh, whatever you want to put in here. Obviously, uh, you know, they thought about a lot, a lot of things to make it have all the features that you really need in one a luxury SUV crossover like this vehicle is. You know, really spending some time with this vehicle really shows all the really neat attributes that they've designed into the vehicle. I mean, they went ahead and made some really comfortable seats with forward, up, down, all kinds of different controls, back controls, all that. They're also lead, heated and everything else. I mean, they, they, you can control the heat on each one of them from your center console. Some of the other features is that you could go ahead and pre-program your seat positions. So if mom could be number two, because dad's always number one, you know that. And then we got the kids who might want to drive the car and they could also set it up for them also. And you know, something else that, that they have that I haven't found on any other, any other vehicle, except for um, high-end, you know, European vehicles. They went ahead and put in a compartment in here that folds out and put all your storage. You could even put a bottle in there if you needed to. But it's uh, pretty neat features to be able to get. Other times you're trying to stick stuff in there, it's in the way, and you know, you need to get some extra room to make it happen. They went ahead and thought about a couple other things too that I like. I like that uh, cup holder that they put there. Lexus really did their homework inside this vehicle. I mean, I'm a gadget guy. I like all these little neat tricks, all these little trinkets and stuff like that because they just make it easier for me and more enjoyable for me to drive a vehicle. Um, they thought about of a lot of things and, and especially these should, and, and the truth of the matter, truth be said, this should be all kind of at least standard, standard features in, in a luxury crossover like this vehicle is, you know, luxury crossover SUV. But not, every, not everybody uses, no, not every one of the manufacturers have it, but I mean, they got a tilt wheel, obviously it's all electronic, they got a telescopic wheel inside here. All their controls are right at access at your hands. Obviously, you could call through your Bluetooth and your setup control, a lot of the, a lot of the features, your radio features and stuff like that. And something that I really like and enjoy a lot is obviously this mouse setup that they have for the navigation system and for other communication setups that they have in here. And uh, it, it really beats pushing on stuff when you can be driving, everything is right at your hands. You know, my background is in racing and I like all kinds of stuff that are right here in front of you. I want all the information in front of me. I want to know what kind, everything. I want to know if the, if the car hiccups, I want to know, but it's got to be right in front of me. It can't be off to the corners like some of these other vehicles stuff. They thought of a lot of neat stuff. Obviously, this particular one has a sunroof. Um, it's got the beautiful speed transmission that makes this thing run like you wouldn't believe it. Uh, they set up a multi-disc player where you can put movies and you can put DVDs and you can put CDs. Obviously, there's, they're also hooked up through, um, uh, they got warmers here for the seat that controls the temperature in each one of the heated seats. Um, there's a lot of stuff put into this. Uh, the stereo system is a Mark Levinson, and it's a premium surround sound setup, and it sounds unbelievable. It sounds, when you're driving this vehicle, it's so quiet that when you're, you're driving down the road and you're listening to the stereo or you're watching a, a movie or the kids are watching a movie or you're, or you're, you're, you're just, just spending some peaceful time, maybe even listening, you know, in my case, I like Andrea Bocelli, but you should hear that man sing in this vehicle. That sound system is unbelievable. Well, in conclusion, this vehicle has a lot of really nice and neat features. They're well thought of. Um, obviously, they've, they've made the cabin really user friendly for the driver. Uh, they've thought about all the comfort and, uh, comfort features that you could get to maximize the pleasure of being able to go to work or, or take a trip on the road. Uh, obviously, they thought about the kids. They thought about a lot of other things. There is some cons, not a whole lot. I mean, obviously, it's a little pricey, their option package. I, could, I would maybe like a third seat option uh, for some people, but really, that's about all I could find that, uh, you know, I had to find something, but I really, you know, everything else, it's just a wonderful vehicle. And I suggest that uh, you take a look at it and take it for a drive one day and you'll see the same things that, not, that I found in it.
we're gonna go over a little bit of the vehicle now when I'm driving it. I mean, I like a lot of neat features that they put into it. Obviously, it's a push button start. It recognizes the key fob, so you don't have to have a key for the vehicle. It has a key fob. Um, the air condition, everything in it, and the, you'll, we'll demonstrate in a little bit the, the navigation setup and all their information uh, station that they have up here in front of us, which is all in the line of sight. So, I mean, they, 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 they think about the driver, which is really good. So we're gonna go take it for a little drive right now, and uh, let's see how this, this vehicle goes. You've got a rear view camera set up in here that when I'm backing up, I can see what's behind me right from the screen. It prompts that screen up. So um, let's see, I'm gonna go out for a little drive and let's show you and demonstrate some of the neat qualities of this vehicle. So we're talking about all these really neat features that this car has and how they set up the whole cabin where all the information is out here in front of us. Uh, the air conditioner has a dual zone that just works spectacular. I mean, uh, we can control each side. Uh, we got heated seats. We got uh, air blowing through the seats. Um, we're here making a right-hand turn here. Somebody let, was holding us up here a minute, but let's see what goes. It rides. It feels like you're floating in it. Uh, it's, an S, it's, a, it's an SUV. It's really a crossover SUV, but it drives like like one of the higher end European Mercedes, you know, uh, higher end U European uh, luxury sedans. Uh, they, they, you know, Lexus really put some effort in their suspension to make this thing run really, really smooth. This road that we're on, it's full of bumps and all kinds of stuff because it's old, old trees that have uh, 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 what they have on the f on roots through the bottom, so they beat up the road a little bit. Well, this suspension just flat out smooths all that stuff out. And, uh, and it shows in the right, in the right of the car. We're gonna go ahead and take it for some few, few more laps and uh, we'll show you some other stuff in a few minutes. You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring.